Welcome back to Quarantine Circular. At the end of last episode, security officer Tang Lei provoked Gabriel into attacking them. And Tang Lei dodged out of the way, and after reviewing the footage and figuring out exactly what happened because I wasn't quite sure to begin with, Professor Zima actually did get accidentally hit by Gabriel. I thought maybe they had just dodged out of the way and just, you know, jumped to the side, but no, they did accidentally get hit instead of Tang Lei. So, let's see what's going to happen next. I'm scared for Gabriel. And Professor Zima. Hope they're okay. So Lisa and the Admiral. My goal as the Admiral is to make a decision. Uh, Lisa, I've read up on procedure. I know in situations like this, the crew should nominate you an assistant. I'd like to volunteer. They're waiting outside, Admiral. How's everyone doing? Poorly. Everyone's confused. Scared. They're professionals. They are, but the events of tonight are pretty far out of that professional experience. None of us were trained to negotiate with aliens. But we want to help you do so. You just have to ask. Tang is furious. The professor is in a medically induced coma. Shit. If Gabriel had swung differently, she'd be dead. Well, that answers how Zima's doing. At least they're alive, but fuck. They're not doing too well. Also, being in a coma means they're taken completely out of the picture. They're not going to be talking to Gabriel or anybody, which means they can't advocate for Gabriel. So now there's pretty much nobody left to advocate for Gabriel, except sort of the Admiral. I know that they had been... They definitely didn't trust Gabriel, but they were at least a bit intrigued. Lisa absolutely hates Gabriel. Tang obviously also absolutely hates Gabriel, so Gabriel is now surrendered by surrounded by a bunch of enemies, basically. And Gabriel? They went silent after the attack, voluntarily returned to the circle, and deactivated their translator. I can bring in anyone you want. Uh, but if I may, I don't think you can make a decision on how to proceed alone. At least according to page 36, paragraph 3. There's too much in the balance. God, I'm not going to bring in Tang. Bring in Mark. He was the first to interact with Gabriel. His insights could be useful. Mark? Hey, Mark. Thank you for seeing me, Admiral. I'll help however I can. Ah, so I can have a third person join, Tang, or stick with these two people. Or three people? I guess it's the Admiral and Mark and Lisa. Yeah, Tang can just go fuck off. There's enough people in this room. You're sure? Yes. Okay, good. Take it away, boss. I'll be here if you need me. I've also uploaded everyone's note history to your HUD. You know, I've almost never read the note history. I don't feel like I need to. So, oh, these are really cool portraits, actually. Yeah, so I've just read a tiny bit of marks to begin with and then stopped there, so it's... I'm not sure exactly what the point of this is mostly. I mean, part of it could just be it'll help you catch up with the story if you've maybe been away from the game for a while. It's a pretty short game, though, so I don't know if that's that much of a problem. But it also could just be to understand more about what the characters themselves are privately thinking, since this is their own private things. It's not just like copies of stuff you said. It's not a transcript. Uh, like here, <laughs> rap battled with an alien. That's new.
Oh my god, was the last one. Oh, that's... Sad? Disturbing? Both? But I don't feel any particular reason to get access to their inner thoughts, really. I feel like I know them fairly well. Um, we came here to do a job. To help people. We are doctors. We were trained to treat the sick, to protect people. We swore to not do harm. Oh, is this like my rallying speech? A potential ally falls from the stars. Very poetic. Darkest hour. Yeah, a potential ally falls from the stars and tells us there's hope. Do we trust Gabriel? Are their goals in alignment with ours? Are there interventionists on our side or merely using us as a pawn in their game? But we can change our situation. That's the great strength of humanity. We learn. The order misunderstands our potential. I'm as biologically capable of thought as a caveman. But I'm better than that because of thousands of years of accumulated thought and study. We have a choice to make, and I need all the help I can get making it. I rely on my people, on you, for your counsel. Should we accept Gabriel's help? Mark, we've not spoken since I got here. Tell me what happened between you and Gabriel. I'm so sorry. If I'd known what would happen, that I was risking lives. <laughs> Bottom line, I was here at the start, but since then, uh, I've not really been that involved. Got an opinions heard bar. Your psych record says you're personable, likable, socially capable. Uh, thank you. What I mean is you understand people. What did you think of Gabriel? You mean other than the usual caveats about the errors that automated translation introduces? We got on. I think they liked me. Honestly, we didn't talk much. Uh, we didn't talk about much except their immediate situation. If anything, they went a bit cagey, despite liking me. If the rumors are true, I'm glad I was kept in the dark. This is all very much above my pay grade. The rumors are true and I want your opinion. My opinion about whether we should let Gabriel save humanity? I want to know whether you think we should accept Gabriel's help, and I want to know why. You have to pick the option that helps the most people. There are absolutely risks to Gabriel's approach, but we have to try, right? This could save a billion lives. And hey, who knows how much the knowledge of worlds out, out there will inspire humanity. We may join them sooner than you'd think. You focus point the greater good. Thank you for your perspective. Happy to share it. Appreciate the chance. You should probably consult someone else, boss. Hmm. I can't bring up the greater good with anyone? I feel like I'm about to consult with Lisa, but it says, Lisa, I've made my choice, which means we're not consulting with Lisa, we're only consulting with Mark?
You sure? This is your chance to work it through with your team. Yeah, so if if Teng Lei wasn't an asshole, they could be here. And if I had avoided Professor Zima getting hit, they probably could have been here as well. So I'm guessing this whole encounter is designed in a way that, well, it's obviously flexible how many people are here, but kind of expected there to be more people, which is why it's a little bit odd, I think. I, there's nothing more to do. We have time to act. All right. Which approach do you want to go with? We have to serve the greater good. Pursue the path that protects the lives of the most people. Your definition of people there. Do you mean the most humans? Because there's an argument that uh, the order is right and our presence at an interstellar level harms trillions of their members. I can't be held responsible for the fate of aliens. We must take Gabriel's help to save as many humans as possible. It's not the perfect solution, but I worry there is no perfect solution to this. It's a good choice. Alright, you've made your decision. The challenge is Gabriel. Gabriel hasn't spoken to anyone since the incident. <clears throat> we'll need to reboot their translation. You'll need the activation key. The activation key will have been set by Perez early on and should be in his notes. Yeah, the unlock code is 123 or 1234. I know this. Okay. What is it? 1, 2, 3. Oh, that was easy. The other part is tougher. What? The professor locked down phage containment before the incident. She'll likely have left a code in her notes in case something happened. As it did, I suggest you go hunting. Phage containment. I don't... What is phage containment? I don't know what that is, but anyway, we need to unlock a thing so that is a very good reason to go back and read the notes um let's just go ahead and read all of these then might as well so to start with tang's captured something for now all crew have been commanded to leave the main deck i won't be able to get out there until the admiral arrives he'll take hours though and then about four hours later or so 1800 hours tang just came by the lab and ordered lisa to go with her an overstep, but a forgivable one. I didn't have time to tell Lisa her assign, assigned private code before she left. Something something something, Zeta something. Okay, well that's one of them, so Z. Should I be writing this down? Okay, I got it. I suspect Tang asked Lisa instead of me because of her extraterrestrial hypothesis. It always seemed far-fetched to me, but this Gabriel they're talking about, if it's an alien, well, an interesting situation either way. I look forward to learning more once the Admiral arrives. 1828 hours. The Admiral arrived, picked me up on his way to the deck. We've known each other for years. Good to meet in person. A couple minutes later. Gabriel seems flustered, but mature in terms of responses. Seems we're dealing with an emotionally intelligent being here. A being of an alien origin. An impossible situation, but it's my job to stay calm. I've been dealing with impossible situations since being assigned here. This is no different. We'll explain our task here to Gabriel, see whether our plans are compatible. About 15 minutes later, Gabriel has convinced me. Occam's razor. I have to believe we're looking at an opportunity here. I'm fascinated to learn more. Gabriel is here to help. That much is clear. I hope Lisa and Khan can see that. Myself and the Admiral are asking questions of Gabriel. It's certainly an intoxicating story, and one I see no reason to dismiss. Gabriel makes a strong case. I've been left alone with Gabriel. We'll get to the bottom of the solution. Word games. 
Gabriel is, surprisingly, into word games. I'm going to wait to keep Gabriel company, past the time while this Taylor phage develops. Which reminds me, I secured the phage to ensure it can't be released before Khan authorizes it. In case anything happens, here's a puzzle for the keyword. If you're reading this. My first is in cake, but not in casserole. My second, third, and fourth are human, but forgiveness is divine. My last is a question. Huh. Okay, I'll go back to that in a minute. Gabriel is making a real effort to connect with me. We're getting on well. The phage process is automated at this point, so it's good to make the time for conversation. It's the first time tonight has felt like first contact, like an opportunity to actually meet another species. Rat battled with an alien. That's new. Tang's here. I should report this to Khan. She's not meant to be on the main deck. Nobody is. Gabriel's clearly uncomfortable. I'm concerned, and Tang appears to be making it worse. The Admiral has not seen my message. And then... Oh, oh my god. Okay, I think I finally got it. Not really through solving it myself, but I, I spent a long time on it and, and then finally just looked up some hints online. Where is the hint? Up here? This just says, Professor has devised a word puzzle. Find it in her notes. It's probably a word with meaning. A name, perhaps. That doesn't seem to really apply to what it actually says in here at all, to be honest. Unless, in the end, it's going to spell a name, but that... I, we'll see. I don't think that has anything to do with it. So I looked up some hints. The first one I was correct with, what is in cake but not in casserole, is just the letter K. Um, the one that I definitely did not get, and it solved it with a hint. It didn't actually give me the answer directly, but I got it once it said this. The hint was basically... It's a word, a word, not a letter, but a word related to this whole sentence. That's not literal, and it's also entered as one letter and then two letters. So it's one word, but we enter it as one letter here on the, as the second entry, and then two letters on the third entry. Which is just a very, very bizarre way to break it up. That is super confusing. But uh, forgiveness is divine. Human... Forgiveness is divine, so to err is human. To forgive is divine, something like that. That's how the, the saying goes. So the word is err, E-R-R. -R. Entered as one letter, E, and then two, R-R. -R. And then I'm assuming the next one is probably a Y. The last one is a question, as it says. Oh, it does spell a name, doesn't it? Carrie. Still. I don't like how that puzzle was designed at all. Send an emissary. You're all set. Everything else you need, I can get from the crew. Are you heading out there to talk to Gabriel? No. It has to be someone Gabriel knows better than me. That makes sense, given everything that's happened. A friendly face is probably the right approach. I know you decided not to invite her in, but Tang might be helpful here. She triggered events, for better or worse. Gabriel knows she's capable of hurting them. It's not the peaceful approach I'm sure you'd favor, but it's likely to at least work quickly. Oh, I have to accept? Okay, I'd rather not. Officer Tang, we need you in here. The Admiral wants to go back on deck and talk to Gabriel. Of course, Admiral. I'll find a solution. Then we're good to go. The Admiral wants us to secure Gabriel's help. Uh, I'm going to be saying this basically just speaking to Tang here. I've made myself clear. I expect my orders followed. Good luck. Thank you. 
do what's right. Serve the greater good. We're done here. I'm guessing this is the beginning of the next chapter. Yes. Treatment. What are those in this guy? Uh, I don't know, but we are going to find out in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and when I return, we'll begin the end of the game. Treatment. Treatment.